Hello YouTube, it's Simon Baldwin again. Um, this video is going to be about mental health. Um, I'm 33 years old and um, my dad suffered from mental health issues. He suffered from um, bipolar and when he was around 21 he was actually sectioned um, because he was shoplifting and stuff and he'd spend all his money and all this kind of stuff and i don't know the exact details i only heard from my sister but um yeah like he was pretty up and down and all that kind of stuff um i have been taking antidepressants for probably like 10 years maybe longer i don't know um i get really depressed sometimes um and i also suffer from anxiety where i am um, it's feel really panicky and it's like it's usually for no reason at all i can just be sitting at home and my heart's going 10 to the dozen and i just feel really anxious and like i also get heartburn that's um, one thing that i get i get a really bad heartburn when i'm feeling anxious i can see the glare on my glasses and it's really annoying me so i'm going to take them off um yeah so i've i've um i've been really bad in the past where i've tried to kill myself few times i've taken roughly 10 overdoses um gone into comas and stuff and ended up in a and e and all shit like this so um my mental health has been pretty bad at points um but day to day now my anxiety isn't too bad and my depression isn't too bad but um it could definitely do with improvement it's not like as good as it should be i think my main um, reason for being depressed is I just feel like life is pretty meaningless um, even if you have all the opportunities and all the money in the world I just don't feel like I'll ever be 100% satisfied I just think that there's part of me that's missing um, and that's probably from the fact that um, my dad died when I was 17 um, my sister died when um, I was like 18 months old no, six months old, and then my mum died when I was like eighteen months old. So I haven't really had like family around that that much, to be honest. Um, when my dad died, I went into care for like six months or whatever, and then I went to live between my sister for six months, and then I got my own flat, and um, basically just had to get on with life. Um, I just feel a bit flipping. I don't know lost sometimes really um not having a super close relationship to my family which i think is quite normal um and then i don't i'm not really good at like flipping socializing and stuff i'm like i'm a decent person and um i'm pretty good at like how i treat my friends but i don't actively have a social life i don't go out and do stuff so i think that's quite common for blokes my age anyway but um i definitely think that's one thing that's like bad for mental health is like the fact that men don't keep in contact with each other and don't like just go and hang out do you know what i mean it's um it's we always have to have like a purpose to like to do stuff like going to the pub or you know playing football or playing pool or whatever whatever hobby you have i think we always have to have as british people something a reason to to meet up and stuff not just because we just want to like hang out and chat and just like get stuff off our chest and and just be in the company of people because as humans we are definitely designed to um to like communicate with other people and, and spend time with each other um i definitely think the fact that i've got my girlfriend bailey has helped my mental health having someone that fucking gives a shit about me that's um definitely helped but um my my advice for for if you're feeling down or anxious or anything like that is to get out of your comfort zone to fucking go for a walk to to just do something like physically exercising and stuff like that is really good for your mental health if you just sit and wallow in it it's only going to get worse it's not going to get fixed or whatever um you have to actively like think yeah this might not be what i want to do when you're depressed and anxious all you want to do is sit around doing fuck all but you need to actually get out of your comfort zone and fucking do shit because it's not as bad as you think it is like you're not gonna get eaten by dogs kind of thing going out for a walk or whatever 
but it generally really fucking helps. So that's my advice for um for mental health. Um thanks for watching the video and I hope this has helped or um inspired you to like to do something about your mental health. Also, taking antidepressants is not a bad thing. Like people like say, Oh yeah, I go on antidepressant whatsoever and then like as soon as they've been on them for like a couple of months or whatever, they're like, Oh, I want to go off them. It's like just accept the fact that you need them. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. Like, I'm type 1 diabetic and um, I have to take insulin every day. Like, taking antidepressants is also, like, part of my regime to keep myself healthy. Like, it's not a negative thing to need to take fucking medication to, like, keep yourself stable. Don't, don't get into the trap of thinking, like, other people that, like, it's something that's temporary or whatever. If you need to take them, take them. Yeah, some people, it's only like a temporary thing, but don't get into your mind that it's a negative thing to, to need to rely on fucking medication. It's um, it's an illness. It might not be like physical, but um, it's definitely something that needs to be treated. So don't um, hesitate to go to the doctors and get prescribed um, antidepressants or anti-anxiety or whatever kind of medication you need. But um, yeah, there you go. Thanks. Bye.